Yeah, <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess right. I guess right. Yeah, my name. Why does it not show my? Show what? Oh boy. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. All right, all right. Hey guys, how y'all doing? What's up? It's uh, Hero, and it's your boy Eric, and we are the amalgamation of the identity booth including you so thanks for joining us and our goal here is to constantly try and identify with y'all as you identify with us and uh we're gonna be doing a little bit of conversating a uh, conversation shall it uh we got a packed schedule we're gonna be talking about the aforementioned lori uh we're gonna be talking about the impeachment we're gonna be talking about uh the first amendment and the total ban from social media that is our presence we're gonna be taking our first deep dive back into sports guys we did it full circle we made it back to sports and then we're gonna be talking we about bruce, bruce willis uh diehard himself eric how you doing <laughs> i'm good i'm good i am it was a long day and i'm here this is my stress relief so y'all gonna hear me probably go on some rants here very quickly but i, I think people have been liking my rants lately so i feel all right i feel good yeah hey you know we're extremely grateful so first and foremost uh shout out we got a long list of shout outs so Eric, you ready for this? We got a yeah. shout out to our boy Shay for subscribing. We're at 271. Thanks to him. We got Young Breaks. Young shout Breaks. Out. Is Young Breaks. Yep, there it goes. Young Breaks. Shout out to Young Breaks. Uh, I think this is, is, is this Jess? Who? Yeah, I'm pulling up now. Yeah, Jess. Uh, for breaks. being 269. And then uh, PD, who would have been 268. So thank you guys all very much for joining us on this. Uh, right now we got three people watching. Uh, shout out to our booth boss, Nafi, who's in the chat Always right in now. the building. Uh, I see you, T. Thanks for joining in off of Facebook. I appreciate that. Uh, we, got it. we got the crew coming in, a few people coming in. If you're watching this right now on any platform you're watching this on, please share, like, subscribe. Uh, keeps our channel going. We got the goal of 1,000. Uh, we're not that far off. Hey, mm -hmm. help us get there. Uh, glass half full here. I like it. <laughs> yeah, glass half full. How you doing, Eric? Oh, I'm tired, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm getting a little hungry, but we got important business to handle right now. So let's go ahead and get to the business. All right. All right. So as far as um, we're concerned, our first story is about uh, Lori Harvey, who I just recently found out is Steve Harvey's daughter. Um, Stepdaughter. Uh, I don't like the whole step thing. She's the daughter. She's the daughter. She no, got her last name. Yeah, only because her mother changed her name. Um, that's, yeah, anyway. That's not even thing. But uh, really the, weird. the way we're setting this up is uh, I didn't know who she was till about 40 minutes ago. But from <laughs> my short short stem of research, I found out that she's the GOAT. And, I, and you know what? Oh, I Lord, have don't, reason don't, to believe. Don't do that. Don't I have do reason that to believe she's the GOAT. And don't do the that reason why she's the GOAT is because she's a 24-year-old <laughs> successful woman living her best life. And enjoying the qualities of dating and Su success just, is subjective i mean she's she got more money than me right now so she's successful mm. you calling me successful you can call her if you can call kylie jenner jenner successful we can yeah call because because she got a billion <laughs> reasons to and, be called and, successful and they, she's successful quit, quit quit undercutting my uh lori lori harvey she yeah. is she is dating some of the most eligible bachelors in the black community and is being given praise by uh, the black women in community. So, I mean, the first question is, who is she dating? Well, right now she's currently dating Michael B. Jordan. But, uh, Eric, you had a list, a more predominant yeah. list. Yeah, so she dated Diddy and his son, Future. Mm -hmm. She dated, uh, who did it, guy? What did, uh... I mean, Nafi, come on, you miss. I need to. I need. We need the tea. Uh, she dated um, uh, Trey Songs, uh, some 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 other athlete. Now, nah, Meek Mill wishing. Is that confirmed? Meek Mill's wishing. I he think wishing. Chris he Brown is wishing. CB, yeah. Well, so again, when you <laughs> um, 
she out here, she out here moving around. She out here, she out here living her her best life. She 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 she, she burning up all her youth and good looks to do whatever the heck she wants. I'm I'm and I'm for it. I am for it. <laughs> Go out here and use up all your youth and good looks while you got them, baby. Go out here and get. Hey, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nafi says I don't envy her though. Nafi, please explain before I <laughs> begin my soliloquy. I mean, it's nothing to envy. She's doing she's doing what she wants. She's not hurting anybody. She's not hey, ain't gonna she's hurt not hurting nobody. anybody. From what I understand, she's dating these people one at a time. And even if she's not dating. And dating. To her, I mean to a credit. But me personally, this is this is a non story. Lori Harvey should be nobody I should know about, but because of the algorithm, here we are. But Ooh, I will hold, say on, hold, this. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause your sister said what i was gonna say she's an apple that's been bitten to the core mm. i mean what i mean but what does that mean oh we know what that means what does it mean tell me eric because i don't because once again i see no problem with this because if you switch Lori with any male this is not a story this is an expectation no 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 men and women are equal men and women are equal she <laughs> has complete agency over her person, over her life, she can go do it. I mean, do whatever she wants. So then let's talk she... a little bit about the double standard. Hey, Sean. Shiny... There's no double standard. I mean, there is a double standard. There's a backlash oh, no. on social media right now going on. So I mean, while we might have from, from who, but from who though? Who's I who, mean, people who? on? It's people. No, 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 no. What social media? What part of the species is? Oh, from the males. Backlash? Oh, you know why? Because most of those dudes are thirsty. <laughs> and they and they're wanting to Nafi's point. She says everyone gets a bite, and it's how she selects them. Like if you take away her daddy's legacy, what is she known for? Uh, so Nafi, it seems like you're saying she does her 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 best work on her back. Is is that what we're saying? <laughs> Putting words in the sister's mouth. I don't know if she. I mean, she says that. everyone gets a bite. I mean, she's she's a doorknob essentially. I mean, I I don't. Hey, listen. For all we know. She could be a genuinely nice woman who really goes out on romantic dates with these guys. And she she could be a hopeless romantic for all we know. I mean, we know better, but for all we know, she could be a hopeless romantic that just goes on dates with these guys, is really looking for love, just hasn't found it yet. Maybe that's really what it is. I don't, I don't think so. Nafi doesn't think so. Oh, wow. Nafi says, what does she do? Her job is to plot for her next story cover. And I'm like, mm. hmm. well, wow. Okay. But Listen, and I'm not saying it. A woman's saying it. So it's completely, but, completely and, acceptable. And that's what I'm saying. We want to get to more of the facts of the situation and just the backlash of it, which is there are a bunch of males who are upset about this and some women defending it. But I think what it comes down ultimately, and this is, and this might be me oversimplifying this. Hey, mind your goddamn business. I and what I'm to going that? to second that. What but, happened to that? Mind your but, but you know what? We wouldn't have to mind our business if, to uh, your sister's point, the shade room and Madame Noir wasn't blowing this up like it's is such a, an applaud for a woman to. If a woman wants to take agency over her body and explore her sexuality with dozens of men or and women, you're, once again, you're putting that tag on her. And nowhere in the article does it confirm that she's having sex with all these men. Because the, be, again, because it's again because uh, unfortunately we haven't gotten to this point in society when women can say I'm just out here taking it and I'm doing what I want. Like, but we literally the, the have fact a whole that entire, she we have a whole entire genre of women who literally say they take it. It's it's the sex work industry. So like, it's not exactly. Necessary. Hmm. So, so like, are you comparing her to a sex worker? No, I mean I'm just saying you said there was no no way that women can do this and i'm like there's literally a whole industry of women that do it I yes but those women get paid for it and I mean, she's getting paid for it too she's exploiting the relationship so that she can keep her face her mother trained her well you don't know that like i just feel like i f don't like Yo, i don't see why to your people sister. are just willing to put a tag on her just because she's doing something that they can't or are afraid no, no, to. no 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 they they know what it is they recognize what it is but again the majority of people who disagree with the the way that she lives her life is not men because most of those men either they're simps and they're extremely too traditional 
and they wish they had a girl this good looking underneath them. I'm just being real. So that's that's so really then, it. actually that's so, it. Okay, so then let's let's go to the the final part of this. <laughs> is she thotting or not? <laughs> like, what is it, bro? Survey <laughs> says I think I think Nafi done said it. The booth boss has spoken. Hero, don't be a fool. She lay down for them Birkins and Rollies. So Nafi believes she's thotting. That's one for the booth boss. <laughs> and, and 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 I'm on and I'm on second that. <laughs> so we're going for two one. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, Nafi's already know. over this topic. She yeah, already knows I, what it is. We did this topic just for the algorithm. Uh, Lori, get your bag or not get hey, your bag. I don't... <laughs> boo boo, do you get your bag? Get your money, hunty. Go get it. <laughs> Go get it. All right, do whatever you got to do. Uh, next topic. She is getting done. <laughs> That's the problem. She's getting done. <laughs> my op- my opinion is if it's that damn good, I don't want no parts of it. Uh, anyway, no, 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 so. no. It's just the, the outer shell looks good. That any Anybody out here like this is damaged. <laughs> well, that was the story. That was our take on it. Uh, you guys can find us somewhere on the page uh link in the description below the identity booth and uh eric where else can they find us you better find us here on youtube first yeah you better like this shit on youtube better like it you better sub man listen if you don't like it give me a thumbs down (laughs) give me a thumbs down i take it we 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 got broad shoulders over here we got broad shoulders over here broad shoulders so yeah go ahead like us on like us on facebook go ahead and sub to us here on youtube Go ahead and like us on Instagram. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram, TikTok. We over there, we doing the thing. And most importantly, make sure you hit that subscription button, notification bell. Mm-hmm. So you get all of our little updates when we pop on here, man. Thank you. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think what are we covering next? What's our next one talking about? Uh, I'm going to roll into the, the, the impeachment. politics. Yeah, let's get into that, man. Let's talk about let's talk about the impeachment. All right, all right. Uh, for everybody that don't know, we do a little intermission where we switch up and then we uh, switch over back to it. So only we're not we're ending too, the show. We're, no, it's only because we're too lazy to uh, <laughs> make intros and outros, and we'd rather just do it live on the stream. So it's easy. It for looks us to edit. strange if you like, hey guys, how you doing? And then all of a sudden you. Tank, you make a hard cut and then you switch over to the picture and it's us in a different clothes different energy like it could be a cheery sentence about us being like hey guys make sure you like and subscribe and then it goes to the next year and it's like uh so we gotta talk about this triple homicide real quick and it's like <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's a bad transition bad transition